Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So special facts. I know my worth. Facts. My bloodline royal. Facts. We the kings of the earth. Right. You can't stop this. Nah, nah. You can't stop this. We are kings of the most high God. We not niggas. We not Negroes. Right, we right. not spicks. We not Hispanic. You understand? We are kings. We are gods on this earth. That's Actually, right. before that, let me get uh, Exodus 19 and 5. Just to prove what I'm saying to you. Because everything we saying, we coming straight out the Bible. It's not right. something we made up our head. But a lot of our people already know. We know what time it is. We know that something's wrong. You understand? We know that we ain't supposed to be at the bottom. And a lot of us already self-identify with being royalty. You understand? Read this. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 19 and verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant. So the covenant we were supposed to keep with the Most High God was to obey his law, statutes, and commandments. You understand what I'm saying? So the reason why we are at the bottom is because we have not kept this covenant right. but we don't then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people so we read that before right in, uh, in, in Deuteronomy 7 and 6 it says we were supposed to be above all people right are we above everybody right now Don no G are we above everybody no hell no where we at we on the bottom we on we beneath everybody and that's what that's what Moses said was gonna happen to us read read, read on Verse 6, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. So we're supposed to be a kingdom of priests. If you if you have a kingdom, what you got in that kingdom? You got kings, right? Now, let me get uh, Leviticus 19.17, right? Because this is how we reverse the curse on how to love one another. Read. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we're not supposed to hate our brother in our heart. Our heart is getting into our mind. Right. All right, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What do you do when you rebuke somebody? What does that mean? Huh? No, 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 because we don't want to do that, right? Because then you might bruise somebody's conscience or ego, right? What, 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 you know what rebuke means? It means correction, right? All right? If my, if I got a son, oh, you got, you got kids? You got, you say you had a seven-year-old son, right? If I beat his ass with the belt, right? If you beat his ass with the belt, that is rebuke. That is chastisement. That is correction, right? Because you are telling him to do something and he's not doing it. Correct? Read on. And... Thou 
shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right, so again, what is sin? Geo, what's sin? Okay, what is sin? Do you know? We're going to get it for you. We're going to get it because it's very important that we understand what sin is because we, we say it a b bunch of times. We are in the position that we are in because of sin because this is what it is. It's the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So who co whoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, meaning you breaking God's laws. Right. Let's going to say it again. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression or the breaking of God's God's law. So that's what sin is. Now let's go back and read Leviticus 19, 20, uh, 1917 from the top. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we're not supposed to hate our brother in our heart. How? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So we don't hate our brothers in our heart when we correct them. Right. You understand? Same way that the Most High has a father-son or parent-child relationship with us, we need to have that with each other. You understand? We, he's corrected us by putting us in the position that we're in. We need to get. We need to correct each other when we see things that they're going off right. on or, or not obeying God's laws. Right. Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. What is sin? You're on. Breaking the laws of God, right? Where can I find the laws of God at? In the Bible, all praise to the Most High. Read. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That tells you who your neighbor is. He said you should not bear any grudge or avenge the neighbor of thy people. Right. That's who your neighbor is. In the Bible, when we think of, or when the Christian church, we think about neighbor, we think it's everybody, right? right? We think that God loves everybody. Is that true? That God loves everybody. Is that true? You, you, you believe it's true? What about you? You don't think it's true? All right. Now, we're going to get it, right? Let me get uh, let me get Sirach 12 and 6 first. Because we're going to prove that God does not love everybody. That is a lie we've been taught by Christian church. You know, you know what Tata said? Let me get that. Let me get that sign real quick. No, the one on the back. The man-made religious. Man-made religious. Let me get that one. This is who taught us that God made God loves everybody. All right, John Smith, right? He created the Baptist religion. A lot of a lot of our people are in the Baptist religion. You understand? That was created in 1608. That never was in the Bible. In the Bible, I can't go read. No scripture tells me to go be a Baptist. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Joseph Smith, he created Mormonism in 1830. Ellen G. White, Adventist religion, 1863. You understand? All these men, do they look like you? Does the Bible tell us to be an Adventist, to be a Jehovah's Witness, to Bring be a Baptist, out. to be a Mormon? No, it tells us that you just need to follow God's commandments. Because right, that's right. We, we do the same thing. You put that back. We do the same thing in society every day. You right. understand? If the speed limit is 45 on this road and I'm obeying that speed limit, I'm obeying the laws of the land. You understand what I'm saying? If the laws of the land tell me that if I kill somebody, guess what? I'm getting put to death in prison. That's, that's me abiding by the laws of the land by not killing nobody. You understand? what I'm saying? That's what the Most High God required of us. Does that make sense? Now we're going to get that. Does God love everybody, okay? Because remember who taught us that? God didn't teach us that, read. It's the book of Sirach chapter 12 and verse 6. For the Most High hated sinners. Ooh, the Most High hate what? For the Most High hated sinners. So that's hatred in the Bible. He said he hates the people who are breaking his laws, right? That's one form of hatred in the Bible. Read on. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Uh -huh. And he's going to repay vengeance. He go, you can get you back for that thing, right? That you do not, if you are not paying attention to his laws, he's he's going to establish vengeance upon you. Right. You understand? Romans 9, 13. Romans 9, 13. Because we're going to get another way that God hates. God is not all love and kisses and hugs. That's not what he is. All right, okay. no, Our God yeah. is a fearful God. You understand? Right. He's the God of terrors. That's what the, that's what the Bible calls him. That's right? right. Read. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9, and in verse 13 it as it is written so this is written not only one place in the bible it's written in the old testament as well anytime you see that in the new testament that's what it means it's written before time right read as it is written jacob have i loved jacob is referring to the 12 tribes of israel right here you understand what i'm saying because jacob's name was changed to israel you familiar with the bible at all 
Jacob was wrestling an angel. After he wrestled that angel, the uh, hey, get get it for me. Yeah, you got it. All right, read. It's the book of Genesis, chapter thirty-two and verse twenty-eight. We go. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men. Uh -huh. So because after he got them wrestling the angel, they wrestled all day and night. Can you wrestle with an angel right now? No. But after Jacob got done with the, wrestling with that angel, the angel told him, your name is no longer Jacob, but now Israel. Jacob or Israel had 12 sons. These are the 12 sons that he produced. You understand? Now, we come from that lineage because it's not... A, a lot of times you hear that you you know it's it's a religion or you uh, you hear in the Jewish faith that you are what your mother is right you are what you, actually what your father is so if your father so called African American you will be from a tribe of Judah you understand right. that's the same tribe Christ came from Bring it up. but let's go back to uh, Romans. Romans read it's the book of Romans chapter nine and verse thirteen Bring it up. as it is written Jacob have I loved uh -huh. but Esau have I hated Esau have I what Esau have I hated. So the same way that Jacob is referring to a nation of people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Esau is also referring to a nation of people. Now, that nation of people, we know that that's white people today. Right. Well, you understand what I'm saying? God doesn't deal with them. That's he only right. deals with the 12 tribes of Israel. Bring Christ did the same thing. Let me get Matthew 15 and verse 21. Because this is out of Christ's mouth. Matthew 15, starting verse 21. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 21. So we're going to see what what Christ did, because he is our example, correct? We supposed to live like he lived, right? right. Read. Then Jesus went thence uh -huh. and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Tyre and Sidon are talking about two African nations, because we are not African. Do you believe we're African? No? All praises. Read. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. So this woman is pleading after Christ. She's asking him, Please, O God, O Lord, save my daughter. She has a devil on her. What, did, what was Christ's response? What do you think he did? Huh? You don't know? Okay. All right. Read. But he answered her not a word. Read that again. But he answered her not a word. Christ didn't respond to her. So imagine, you got somebody on their knees begging for you to heal them, heal their daughter. And Christ looked at her like, she talking to me? You understand? That's what Christ did. And watch what his disciples did. We, no. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. Now that don't sound like love, do it. He, they said, Send her ass away. Go, leave, get away from us. Why? Because she didn't have anything to do with the 12 tribes of Israel. You understand? Read. But he answered and said, uh, So now he's going to answer her. I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel are the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's you understand? Right. That's who Christ came for. Right. Matthew 1 and 21. Matthew 1 and 21. Because this was a prophecy about Christ before he came. Even then, they said he was only going to be sent to his people. Read. Right. It's the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. Bring it up. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. So this is talking about Mary. She's going to bring forth a son. His name is going to be Jesus. Read. For he shall save his people. He's going to save everybody. He shall save his people. He's going to save white people. He shall save his people. He's going to save the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand what I'm saying? Now, why are we in the position that we are in today? Do you know? Remember, because we said it was for a particular reason earlier. It's sin, right? Sin, dying to sin. We teaching why we in the position that we in today, okay? We're going to get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1, okay? Because there were two things Moses gave to us to be able to choose from, all right? This is going to be the first thing he gave us. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently into the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we hearken and diligently or listen obediently unto God's voice. God's voice is all up and through this Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So, read on. To observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. So, it says we're supposed to do all of his commandments. Not just some of them. Not just the ones we like. Not just the ones that feel good. You understand? We're supposed to do all of them. Read. 
that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So again, there it goes again. God is telling us that we're supposed to be above all the nations of the earth. That's right. So now you see that we're not above all the nations of the earth, correct? Right. Correct, Terrence? Hey, I got one question though. What's up? Law 65. You are not worshiping me as you worship other gods. Uh -huh. I am not a god. Uh -huh. Okay, so are, are, are we supposed to worship you because the Bible? No, 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 the, but no, no. This is, this, this comes from your hour. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would say he is not a god. We are not supposed to worship him as other people worship gods because he is not a god. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll you get... keep, but y'all keep saying god. Uh huh. You know, and I'm just wondering. Uh -huh. You know, say his name. Don't hide his name. Say his name. Right, right. Okay. Now. All right, good question, Terrence. Good question. Hold on to that one, all right? Because what we're going on right now, what we're what we're going over, is how we got to this point where we are right now, right, uh, Don? All right, how we got to the point where we are right now? The brothers going in to Deuteronomy 28, the curses, to show that this is the black man's book. Because a lot of people believe that this is the white man's book. Right. But the white man didn't put his hands in this. It was all created by the Most High to His people. That's Watch right. this. Go to uh, Joel, no, no, Amos, three and one. When he goes into the curses, it's going to go into the punishment that happened to our people for breaking God's commandments. Right. Like when you were a child and you disobeyed your parents, did they reward you or did they punish you? They punished you, right? Did it, was it, did it feel good? No, it didn't. Does captivity right now, does the things we see on TV on a daily basis feel good to us or does it hurt us? It hurts us. Watch this. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. See, Terrence know that he is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, and you're learning the same thing tonight. He says, listen to the word that I'm speaking against you. Remember, as the soldier was bringing out, the Lord only chose Israel. So guess what? As being his chosen or his children, he's going to punish us as parents. Right. Can you read it? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Remember, he says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Remember, he to be chosen means that there was choices, and the Lord chose us. He said, you only, Israelites, have I known of all the choices that I had upon the face of the earth. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, because you're my chosen, you're my children, I'm going to punish you. Right. When you got in trouble with your friends, did your parents punish you or did your parents punish your friends? They punish you only because they only they only dealing with you. That's why the that's why the soldier's going into what he's going into right now. Right. Okay. Go to uh Joel chapter 2 and verse 27 and then soldier you're going to come back up. What he's going into when he's uh, going into the curses, I want you to really pay attention because he's going to use these signs to show you that the Bible is the same as these signs. These here are just pictures, but the Bible is, is painting it for you, okay? Read. It's the book of Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. And he says, I am in the midst of Israel. Why didn't he say I'm in the midst of the whole world? Why didn't he say he's in the midst of the Chinese or the Arabs or, the, or whoever? He says, I'm in the midst of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. He says, I am your God. Don, Terrence, and none else. That's right. Just like that's your sweater. You, I can't wear it because it's yours. Right. This commandment in this Bible, all the things that pertain to it, it belongs to Israel. That's right. right. God belongs to Israel right. and none who? And none else. Right. See that? And none else. So when we go into the curses that he's about to go into right now, he's explaining that these curses are going to be on us and who? And none what? And none else. That it only pertains to the Israelites right. and none else. To scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.